name is Jobby and welcome to the new fail box. Might be a different looking setup, but it's the same concept. At the end of every month, I take a look at what you guys have sent me to my P.O. Box 3290 or California 90651. And for the month of July, just off frame from my casting couch, you can see that I have a lot to get through. But before we get into those boxes, we will take a look at five of your letters. And this stack just keeps growing and growing. I have to do something about this soon. Let me get that little piece of schmutz off of there. That's nasty. All I'm gonna say for now is potential letter reading streams. So we have one, two, three, four, and five. Our first letter of the day comes from a Josie Court, and they are from Canada. And it looks like Josie here kind of ruined the suspense for us a little bit. Eh. Funny meme. Ah, a letter. Dear Hobby the Ding Dong. You can't say that. My name is Josie and I started watching your content two months ago. My brother showed me your Make Toys Galaxy Meteor Transformer Cybertron review and I ended up almost laughing to the point where I needed my inhaler and throwing up. So thanks for almost killing me. Damn it. I was so close to claiming another victim maybe next time. I was going to send a drawing but I got frustrated at my own drawing skills and gave up. Well, if you are frustrated at your own drawing skills, maybe watching me draw will help inspire you. You can check that video out, links in the description. I am the master of plugs. So instead, I give you the ultimate ultimate swivel machine. This has got to be my third fidget spinners. They're they're not a bad toy, okay? P.S. I'm almost 17. Borderline big boy, you'll get there. P.P.S. Sorry for my handwriting. Not that bad. I've seen worse. Thank you very much, Josie, for your letter, and thank you very much for your swivel machine. I already made it clear that I have no problem with the word swivel, right? Swivel here. Our next letter comes from a Cheyenne Bailey. Am I pronouncing that right? I don't know. And they're from Oklahoma. Dear Dobby the Hong, I love your videos. I hope you like my fan art. I'm 15 and a female. Two things that I don't want on my channel. <laughs> I'm just kidding about the female part. Please stay. I love you and awesome. Thank you very much. And you kind of dropped off on grammar at the end there. And I have to assume that this piece of fan art was drawn before we had official Jarby the Hong merch, so you just had to put a generic Jarby the Hong logo there. Understandable, but any other fan artists that want to draw my beautiful visage, you know what to put me in now. Links in the description. This one comes from a Jacob Staines. I remember that name somehow. And we got some nice little card symbols there. Oh, Jacob Staines is from Australia. Nice. Two papers? I don't know what to say, but the colors are really popping for me. I think I get it. Yeah! Oh, that's pretty cool, actually. Thank you so much, Jacob. This tiny little thing has no name on it, but it has an incorrect address on it. I'm just letting you know just to be careful for for next time. It says Northwalk. It's Norwalk, California 90651. I just don't want the USPS because they're so stupid to get it mixed up. Hey, check that out. It's a bit that I haven't done in a long time. It's because I haven't talked about Spider-Man in a while. But next time I talk about Spider-Man, Swivel Man will return. He's still living in a garbage can. And we have a little letter here. Dear Jobby the Hong, your videos are great and somehow I actually respect you. That is surprising, actually. <laughs> My username for YouTube, Twitter, etc. is... I can't really make that up, but there it is on screen if you guys want to check them out. And I already know my username is Complete Cancer, and so is my handwriting. Well, yeah, Swivel, have mercy on your fan base. Sincerely, Zach. Thank you very much, Zach. And the final letter of the day comes from a Kyle Arambula. That looks good. It's upside down. <laughs> that also looks good. Best character in Guardians. R.I.P. Spoilers. We have what looks like to be a sticker of some kind. And finally, a letter. Hello, anime toy reviewing nocturnal echolocation flying mammal man or Mr. Jobby the Dong. I am Kyle and I am 18 years old. One of these for this guy, please. I can't help but somewhat like the Bayformers because it is what I grew up with, but G1 is still a way better version. You know what? Let me stop you there. G1, also kind of trash, but there was a bit of charm to the trash that was G1. But Bayformers trash is a different kind of trash because it's just overproduced, corporate, soulless. Transformers is a corporate soulless franchise. It only exists to make toys. I don't know what I'm talking about anymore. I make CD mixtapes using different existing songs for myself. I don't sell them because it's illegal. I'm thinking of sending you one of my mixtapes if you want. Just shoot me an email at I don't want to read your email out on public just for your own sake. And this guy literally is telling me, bruh, check out my mixtape. I also sent you a couple of drawings. And you saw those drawings already. And he drew a me in Rick and Morty style. That looks nice, actually. And that's going to wrap it up for the letters of this video. And now we will get to our burger envelopes. This one comes from a ice. 
So we have a double feature Blu-ray with Godzilla movies that I haven't watched, but now I have to because I own them. And we have a couple of papers, but first let's take a look at this letter. Dear Jobby, hello, my name is Ice. I subscribed to you in 2016. Found your content to be the right amount of cancer that I needed in life to keep me laughing. Just so you know, I am a big boy at the age of 21. So far, like the new way you have been making your videos lately, kind of like the old way, but the new way is very expressive and in my humble opinion, funnier. Thank you very much, I really appreciate that. They are definitely more fun to make, I'll tell you that. A few questions. Number one, do you have any consoles? Does PC count? I also have an original Wii, a PlayStation 1 that just stopped working recently, so that kind of sucks. And a Super Nintendo that I borrowed from my friend Eddie, but he has never come back to claim it, so it's basically mine now, right, Eddie? Number two, ever seen a character from Dragon Ball Fighter Z called Android 21? If so, what are your thoughts on her? I actually do know who Android 21 is, even though I haven't seen any Dragon Ball materials and she's a cutie groundbreaking opinion i know number three what transformers figure would go well with titan's return six shot well an answer doesn't come to mind right now because i actually haven't been collecting the titan's return series and apparently ice does have a channel a very small one called knights gaming league sincerely ice thank you very much ice let's take a look at your fan art we have this and we have this and that actually looks pretty cool good job ice why would anyone want to abolish ice seems like a nice guy our next large envelope comes from Amazon, so there's no name of the sender here, but I do remember something about this envelope. Whoever sent this, I actually had to pay to receive this, and it wasn't at my P.O. box. I actually had to go to a UPS center to pick it up because UPS doesn't deliver to P.O. boxes. So keep that in mind for anyone wanting to send stuff to my P.O. box. UPS and FedEx do not deliver to fail boxes, P.O. boxes. I mean, I didn't have to pay that much, around 250, but still. Uh, the heck is this here? And we have a note. What the heck? I don't see a name anywhere here, but it is from some gentleman or gentlewoman in Texas. Huh. Huh. Looks like some pliers or model kit nippers. This looks like just the fancy way of telling me to review more Gundam. And we have another one here. These are very fancy packaging here. Oh, these are the model kit cutters because they are spring-loaded. I assume the other one was just a pair of pliers. Oh wait, they're both spring-loaded. Matter of fact, they're the exact same thing. Thank you very much, mystery man from Texas, mystery woman. I appreciate it. I'll find some use for these things. What, what am I going to use them for? Gundam? <laughs> Did you say this one comes from a Richard Mech Spirit. If that's a real name, it's awesome. And they're from New York. <laughs> what the fuck is this? Uh, this is addressed to me, and uh, I don't know. I'm afraid to open this for two reasons. Number one, uh, and number two, this looks like an authentic magazine from... What is it, the fucking... From a long time ago, all right? If I open it, will it crumble in my hands? I don't know. Let's find out. Actually, you know what? This is actually really goddamn cool. A little piece of history here. I'm not quite sure what piece of history it is, but it... That's... You know what? Not bad. Oh! Oh, hot mama. Damn, son, look at that vintage hentai. Hell yeah, dude, that is one fine dame. Thank you for giving me some relief material. I've been meaning to branch out. This one is from an Oscar Cairo, and it is addressed to Odd Job. Very funny. Looks like we got a whole goddamn high school notebook in here. What the fuck? This is a goddamn report card. I haven't seen one of these since well, since I went to school. Fuck school, man. <laughs> I'm just kidding, guys. Stay in school. We have a colored in seeker that he just labeled my OC. And yeah, I suppose that's how OCs work. And a letter in the back of that. Hello, Jobby the Hong Kong Hog or whatever. My name is Thomas, aka Tommy. And I have to say that you are one of my favorite YouTubers. And like you, I'm also a Transformers fan. Two things I'd like to say in one big word. Keep calm and swivel on. That is something that I have to take to heart because I can't get upset with you guys for overusing that word forever. I have to keep calm and swivel on, no matter what the spammers say. Do you like tennis? My favorite sport to play. I've played it occasionally. I mean, recently I haven't played any sports if you, if, if you, if you, if you can't tell. And Oscar says, Oscar the one being who actually sent the letter, Thomas is 18 at the time he wrote this. And now, let's take a look at his artwork. We have a Ruby OC, and it says number two out of eight. Uh, I still haven't seen Ruby. I don't know why you guys keep shoving it in my face. 
I'm just kidding. If you guys want to share Ruby stuff, go ahead. I just won't get it. Holy shit, we got another letter. Oh, hi, Jobby. Your boy Oscar is back with more traumatizing letters and crappy drawings. All I want to say is that I highly recommend Ruby. The music fight scene characters are amazing. The animation and voice acting are admittedly pretty wonky in the first season. I get better later on. If you want more of my drawings, follow me on Amino Link Kendo 19. That is if you already have an amino. I've never even heard of it. A friend of mine I introduced you to wrote his own letter in this package and another friend sent her own letter recently. Please accept my sacrifices and grant me and my friends access into Swivalhalla. Pretty clever, actually. So clever, in fact, that I want to send you straight there. Like my stuff, you fuck off. This looks like a threat of some kind and I do not bow down to terrorists. Nice piece of fan art. Hey, he drew my OC, Ember, which I haven't even developed. I drew her once and that's it. And finally, we have a devil man drawing they never finished. Thank you very much, Oscar and Tommy. Let's get to the next one. And this one happens to be the final bigger envelope and I just completely fucked up. You guys remember that envelope I said I had to pay $2.50 for? Well, this one was that envelope that I had to pay for. That last one I did have to go to the UPS center, but this one I had to pay for. They were two separate situations. So, Kayo Arambula, and he addressed it to chubby Asian Batman, which just kind of rubbed salt in the wound of me having to pay 275 wasn't even 250 It had better been worth it. In all seriousness, I really didn't mind paying to receive your letter, but next time, I'll refuse to accept it. Oh. Okay, so we have a broken CD case, which is unfortunate, <laughs> but it does look like an official Awesome Mix Volume 2, which is a really nice soundtrack. I really appreciate you getting this for me, so thank you very much for that. And we have a letter. Dear Mr. Anime Japanese Flying Nocturnal Echolocation Mammal Man, to be honest, the only reason I found your channel was because it was in my recommended feed back in summer 2017. That's where most people find me, honestly. And yes, I am a certified big boy. Well, congratulations. I mean, any 16-year-old that can grow a full beard is a big boy. No! Big boy is a numerically quantifiable concept. A big boy, I will say it now to set it in stone, 18 and over. You, my dear friend, are a semi-big boy. You're getting there, but you're not quite there, even though you have a full beard. I don't care about the level of facial hair. Do you have a dog? I also included some artwork. I don't have a dog, actually, but I do live in a house with six cats. My dad is kind of a crazy person. P.S. Do you watch Axe Cop? I don't. And a little drawing at the end of there. This is a bulldog. Thanks very much for that. And let's take a look at these two other papers you sent me. This looks to be an original movie-style Transformers concept, a Volkswagen van that transforms and his name is Hooligan, apparently. Really cool design. Some Star-Lord fan art in a really nice style. And we have another Transformers movie character, I assume, Mohawk. And a pair of disembodied legs. Thank you once again, Kyle Arambula. And now, we can get to all of the boxes you guys have sent me. I've been looking forward to this. Our first box of the day comes from an Emma Miles, and they are from the UK. And let me see if I can find my knife. There it is. Packing material. What well, looks to be a letter here? And this letter seems to be attached to a something. Let's unfurl this hot mess. Oh, would you look at that? It looks to be like a fall of Cybertron Megatron or War for Cybertron, one of the two. It's a nice looking figure, actually. And because I don't want to destroy the letter by removing it from this bubble wrap, I will just read it like this. Hi, Jobby. I will keep this short. Appreciate it. I am 29, 30 in October. I love your videos. I started watching the Digimon reviews and just couldn't stop watching afterwards. I know I only sent you some stuff that you might have, but I wanted to send you something. All the best, Emma. Thank you very much, Emma. The thought is appreciated and actually I don't have one of these so that's pretty cool and this little baggie here seems to be filled with a bunch of different cars it's one of those Michael Bay toys where the robot mode is just underneath the car mode check out this transformation sequence Nice. These are pretty cool looking things here. So thank you very much, Emma. Next, we have a Marie Perez. So we have a letter, something, some candy, and an SH Figgy Wards Captain Phasma. Wow. Like most people, I think Captain Phasma looks awesome. Potentially good character. Completely wasted. But good looking figure here and potential review. So let's take a look at this letter here. Dear Jobby the Shlong, my name is James, and I guess the name on the box wasn't the person who sent it. And I am sorry to say that I am. 14 years old. Not a big boy yet. I still love your channel and would like you to know that you were the one to introduce me to Trigger Warning.
Gundam a couple of years ago and I love the hobby. Besides that, I would also like you to have these tiles I painted a couple years ago for my art class and this SH Figure Arts Captain Phasma. By the way, what are your thoughts on the live action Gundam movie being created by the guys who made Pacific Rim? Sincerely, James. Thank you very much, James, for all of your kind words. And as for my thoughts on the Gundam live action movie coming out, the idea of a live action Gundam movie, it could totally work if they do it correctly. And may I suggest they take from the UC timeline. UC really drives those themes of war is hell and there's no real good guys and that could make for a great war film and I hope they take that direction. I don't want it to be a Pacific Rim uprising where it's just flashed for the sake of flash. So that's my thoughts. I'm cautiously optimistic about it. And let's take a look at those tiles that you mentioned. Oh, hey, that's awesome. So you did this for art class? You can kind of see where this is going. That's just really awesome, man. I, I'm, I'm really flattered that you decided to immortalize me in your art project. All right, thank you so much, James. Our next package comes from A, no name. Ah. Ooh! I really gotta make the time to build some model kits because you just gave me an awesome one. Oh my God, it's the Super Mini Pla original Megazord. Let's inspect the merchandise here. Yep, everything is there. And man, that looks so good. Thank you so much, mystery person. I, I don't think there was a name here unless there was a letter I missed. Ah. There was a letter I missed. Thank God I looked at that. Dear Crispy the Long, Howie the Song, Robbie the Wong, Jimmy the Schlong, Hoppy the Krong, please read this off camera. Okay. Okay, thank you very much. I still don't know your name. You didn't include it here. <laughs> really appreciate your kind words, and I also really appreciate that you are a big boy. Stay strong, and let's move on. Our next box comes from a Mark B, and they are from Wisconsin. We have a letter here. We have an old robot toy. I don't know what that is. Kind of looks like a He-Man figure. Whoa! I believe this is Silverbolt. I forget what, uh, what toy line he's from, but uh, Transformers Silverbolt. Oh man, this has got to be one of those old school GoBots, not the Tonka GoBots, but Play School GoBots. And we have a red ratchet from the Transformers movie. And finally, we have. You're gonna have to excuse me for one moment. Hi, insert jobby name pun here. I'll start with letting you know that I am 20 years old, bam, and I just like to say that your videos have helped me get through a difficult year. Also, I love the new video format. Thank you so much. P.S. I added a second GoBot and a vintage Predator toy. This looks nothing like the Predator, but I guess that's what it is. Thank you very much, Mark B. I will definitely be taking this to bed. <laughs> not a furry, not a furry, not a furry. This one is from a... Pretty sure this is gonna be a sponsored box, actually. Hey, I was correct. It's Astrobots. I've heard of these things. I think PR already reviewed two of these. Toy Forge. Okay, Toy Forge sent this to me. Might be a double review. And our next box is from Tom Jenkins. Whoa, what the heck is this? This looks like a really high quality John Goodman. Get out of here, you fat ballerina. That's what he says, right? I've actually never seen a movie with this character. Wei Xiang, Wei Zhang, however you pronounce it. I believe this is a Chinese knockoff company. However, they are known for making high quality knockoffs. And this one seems to be an oversized hound. And this box says actually very nice looking. So I guess a uh, follow up to my Autobot Hound review is in order. Thank you very much, Tom Jenkins. The next one we have is a pretty big box. And this one's from an Ion Garcia. I recognize that name. Whoa! Oh my god! It's a FAG battle damage version. This is the one from Gundam Thunderbolt. <laughs> Review more come to my nose! Ah! Wow, that looks so cool. And inside, oh, it's already pre-built. So we have a uh, envelope here. It seems like Ion here already went to work on some of these pieces. That looks nice. Now we have various dry brush debris, but where is the FAG itself? And here it is. Holy crap. Ion, you madman, that looks so good. Wow, that looks cool. Ah! Oh, <laughs> shit. <laughs> oh no! Eo Fleming just ejected. All right, no damage done. Thank God. And we also have some stand parts slash beam saber parts. All right, let's get this out of the way here and let's take a look at this big old envelope here. 
Ion, I did recognize your name. You are the photographer. And here we have his letter. Dear Jobby the Hong, it's Ion again, a 22-year-old big boy. In this package, I have sent to you my most prized and cared for personal project, a fully weathered, flat matte top coated and de decaled premium Bandai Full Armor Gundam. It currently stands as a representation of my collected skills, capabilities, and state of mind. Lately, I've been feeling burned out, broken, and defeated, but the jazz keeps on playing. Well, now I feel like shit for handling this thing like a caveman, but like I said, no damage done, but I would do my goddamn best going forward to keep him safe. So we have a few shots here of his Gundam Thunderbolt model kit. Another shot here, and another shot here. Thank you very much, Ion. Apologies to your heart and soul here, and let's move on to our final three packages. This one comes from a Matt Lombardo from New York. So we have a letter here, a piece of fan art, I believe, a cute little Jurassic Park shirt, but this does not compare to the official Jobby the Hong shirt. Links in the description. A cute little Godzilla plush and a huge Jurassic World toy. Man, that is pretty cool. So let's take a look at this thing. Hey, Jobby the Guan Long, get it? Dinosaur memes. I hope you enjoy the big girl I sent you and the two loot crate items I included as well. I have a few questions for you too. Number one, what is, was your favorite dinosaur? I was kind of partial to the Iguanodon mainly because of that Disney movie called Dinosaur. If you guys remember that, I like Iguanodons. And Carnotaurs are pretty cool too. They're just T-Rexes with devil horns. Number two, what is your opinion on the Jurassic Park franchise? What is your favorite movie within it? Have you seen the newest one? As a franchise, it's kind of a mixed bag, but my favorite movie is definitely gotta be the first one. Such a good movie. And I haven't seen the newest one actually, The Fallen Kingdom, and I don't have interest in it honestly. Jurassic World was okay, but it didn't make me want to see any more of those characters or even the franchise, I'm kind of done with it. But that first movie will always remain a treasure. And finally, who is your favorite Jurassic Park character? Jeff Goldblum. 100%. And I guess this guy is the one who sent me the Beasts of the Mesozoic, which I still have yet to review, but we'll get to that after the review after this video, but well, let's continue with the letter. P.S. I last minute decided to send more dino art. Enjoy this Anzu colored like a Kasauri. Excuse my shit penmanship, please. I... I'm sorry, I didn't quite catch that last bit. But we'll take a look at it. Hey, oh, that's cute. Thank you very much, Matt. Good luck on your paleontology stuff. And I hope you enjoy my next video. This one is from a no name. Pretty damn big though. Ah, we have a letter. And a goddamn big gift bag. I, uh... I see no name here, but let's just take a look at that gift bag. Hopefully the name will be in there. <sighs> Holy crap. Oh! It's an SH Monster Arts figure, a special color version of if you can read that, but let's open it up and see for yourself. This is Goya! <laughs> Woo wee! Damn! Wow, that is awesome. Why is the box so goddamn big though? Is the figure that huge? I'm excited to find out. But again, Mystery person. God damn it. Who are you? I didn't find any name here in these materials. If any of you guys sent me an SH Monster Arts Deshu Troya, please let me know. I need to shout you out when I get to this thing. And now, our final box is a pretty big one. And it's got a good weight to it. And it's from Jacob Kunat. And they're from Canada. All right, holy crap, someone is a fan of Power of the Primes. We have a very short letter here, so hello Jobby, I am a huge fan and supporter. I am a certified big boy, 19 years old, sending you this as appreciation for your content. I have depression and your videos always put a smile on my face. Well, I hope you actually don't have depression, that would suck. But thank you so much, Jacob, and let's take a look at what you got me. Power of the Primes Grimlock, which I think I already got in another Fellbox video, but thank you anyway. Power of the Primes Dinobot Snarl. Power of the Primes Dinobot Slug. He'll always be slag to me. Dinobot Sludge. Swoop. And Slash. You just gave me the entire Power of the Primes Dinobot line. I really appreciate you. Thank you so much. And thank you to everyone, as always, who sent me a package for this month. I cannot put into words how grateful I am to you guys every single month, especially for last month, because July was a month where I didn't post out a lot of content, and that's because I was getting this new studio constructed. But with the construction of this new studio, I hope to bring you more frequent, consistent, high-quality content, high-quality content for you guys. As always, the area has turned into a mess, but it is a mess worth 
going through. Thank you everyone for watching. Thank you guys on Patreon for supporting me. And thank you, in all seriousness, for everyone who bought a shirt that directly supports me. So I can't thank you enough. Like, comment, stay subscribed, hit that bell for notifications, and I will see you next time. I wonder what could be in this box.